Hi, welcome to our next um, art careers, art director. You're managing creative fields. We're going to go ahead and be an art director in this assignment for a fashion warehouse. You're gonna collect five different labels to create an everyday outfit. What I need you to do is basically online browse. I want to see a men's outfit and a woman's outfit. So you work for fashion retail as an art director. I want you to divide it up to footwear. Top. Bottom. Why did I put footwear? <laughs> Accessories. Top, bottom, jacket, and footwear. If you need to pause your video on a blank sheet of paper or on your packet and recreate this chart, women's, men's, slide line between, line for accessories, a line for top, line for bottom, line for jacket, and line for footwear. probably have to do this on your phone, but I was not blocked from a website called Nordstrom. And in this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with women's accessories or, you know what, I'm going to start with the outfit because I feel like you can coordinate the outfit. I'm just going to do one part, price is no object. Let's take a dress for women. Our director, is not looking for themselves. So you're going to take yourself out of the equation here. Everyday outfit would be casual. Now this is gonna be difficult because art directors, fashion warehouse, merchandising, you're not shopping for yourself. You're not shopping for an event. I like this though for every day. When I hear every day, I think this looks pretty cozy, uh, work from home kind of situation. So, we're going to close the top, and it's a long sleeve knit hood dress, and the brand is Charles Henry. So I need to have the brand and the price, and the price, oh, that's a steal, $49. At the bottom of all of your collective women's and men's accessories, top, bottom, jacket, footwear, does it have to be on Nordstrom? No, it does not. You're collecting items from five different labels. So I can't have anything else Charles Henry in the woman's column. So if you go to Gucci, Chanel, or a major powerhouse label company, it can't be their stuff all the way down because fashion uh, warehouses they don't concentrate on one label you're organizing data you're organizing a sales sheet in a very simplified breakdown form. i'll do one more for women's because at the bottom i'm going to need totals spelled totals wrong i totally spelled total wrong ha huh. okay let's say for women if you go to a website, you can click, let's get her a, hmm, what would she like to carry? I think she'd like a satchel. Coach. That yellow coach bag would just really complement this outfit for my design team at the fashion warehouse. So I'm going to go to accessories for women, a yellow handbag. Brand is Coach. Price is $395, which is typical for coach. Now, do you have to be practical like me and say, oh, let's go for three. Could you go for the Saint Laurent medium Cassandra Croc embossed, <laughs> embossed patent leather satchel? Absolutely, this is not for real. So the rules have to be different 
labels. We are not coordinating or buying for a certain label. We're buying for a fashion warehouse. Uh, I want to see accessories, top, bottom, jacket, footwear for both women's and men's. I want to know the um, label. I want to know the cost. I want to know the total cost. This is for a fictional art director who's been assigned to put together things from far-reaching companies to sell on a fashion warehouse website. This is due Saturday. I'll be talking more about this in class. Good luck.